OK, so this is the first of the four books that I want to talk about in this spotlight on Byron. I thought it would be a good idea to start this session by looking at actually one of Byron's works. We have various copies of a number of Byron's um, poems and longer works in the, in the collection, um, including this rather nice little book with its lovely um, marbled cover here. Now, this book is actually part of the Philip James Bailey collection, and people who came to my first Spotlight session in January this year will know a bit more about Philip James Bailey. Um, he was himself a poet, a local man, and he was very famous um, for a while in the Victorian period, particularly for his epic poem Festus. Now, when he died, he bequeathed a number of his books to Bromley House Library, um, mostly books about poetry, but also about religion and mysticism um, and a few on local history. And one of the books he bequeathed um, was this copy um, of this work by Byron. So let me just open this. It is a little bit delicate, so I'll be careful with it. The cover is detached, as is the first page. So I shall just lay that aside. You can see from the first page, this is a copy of Hours of Idleness. Now, the full title of this um, this publication is Hours of Idleness, a series of poems, original and translated by George Gordon, Lord Byron, a minor. And this poem, this, this book of poetry, this collection was published when Byron was 19. Now, it includes a number of his poems that were written a few years earlier when he was 17. And some of those poems had technically previously been published um, in a work called um, Fugitive Pieces. Unfortunately, Fugitive Pieces was recalled and mostly destroyed on the advice of one of Byron's mentors due to the potential for scandal in some of the more amorous verses that were written within it. Now, many of the pieces from Fugitive Pieces were collected together in Hours of Idleness, together with some new poems that Byron had written in the two years since Fugitive Pieces. Um, a lot of the poetry in here is in imitation of classical Roman poetry, um, but there are obviously some, some very... Um, uh, some very sort of innovative pieces that, that he'd written himself as well. Now, um, this particular copy of Hours of Idleness um, is one of a few that we have in the library, and this one is a first edition. Now, it has mainly just the text with a few um, little inter interleaved um, images, but one of the things that's quite interesting about it, because it's a first edition, is that it includes a number of printing typesetting errors. Now, if I pick this up close to the camera here, you might be able to see here on page 114, as an example, in the word thunder, we have an N instead of the U. So T-H-N-N-D-E-R. So this is one of the few, um, one of the mistakes that were not picked up in proofreading the um, first edition and um, is, is one, of the, one of the interesting things about this particular edition of the book. Um, so obviously Byron went on to publish many, many more works. He published um, great um, epic poems like Don Juan and um, Child Harold's Pilgrimage. We have... Um, examples of most of his works within the muse uh, museum, within the library collection. Um, but this one is one that I quite like because it is, as I say, it's a first edition. It's the first published collection of works by Byron. And it also has the added interest that it was part of Philip James Bailey coll Bailey's collection. So would have been part of his reference library when he was creating his own poetry in the 19th century. <laughs> 